The forbidden kiss. We knew that it was wrong, that he was betrothed to my sister. But if this wasn't what he wanted, then why did he come to the field of desire? It was fate that we should meet like this. Hey! What do you guys think of that little skit? <laughs> I had my mom help me throw that pillow because I didn't have anyone to like snap me back into life. Who else is a big rom-com fan? If you guys are such a romantic comedy person just like me and love to all the boys I love, Lana Condor and Noah Centineo because he is so cute and they just are so adorable, then you guys may enjoy this look. I wanted to create this Asian smoky look that is really relatable to Lana. I've been watching interviews and you know she has this Deadly Class movie that's coming up or probably out by now and she does wear more makeup, shorter hair, probably about this short but she has a little bit of that tousled beach wave. So sorry for the little squeaky noise because Mr. Tofu is playing with his toy and he doesn't want to leave this room. I am so in love with romantic comedies and to all the boys I love which this is the new rom-com thing it's a sequel I don't know about you guys but I am such a big Netflix person I could be at home on a rainy day sunny day whatever it may be I just love watching movies on Netflix my cousin was the one who told me about this Netflix film that's on Netflix and it's called to all the boys I love I watched it I loved it I watched it literally five times already, maybe six. Yes, Tofu, you're so cute. I also downloaded it on Netflix and it's on my phone. So when I travel on the airplane, I get to watch it or just listen to it and just sleep. <laughs> Film is so cute. I've just been into Lara Jean's makeup. It's just really soft, glowy, just fresh looking skin. You know in the film she doesn't have a lot of makeup on. In some of her videos on YouTube that I've watched, she actually rocks a full face glam. Very pretty, fresh, glowy look. So today's look I thought would be kind of cool to have a little bit of a Lana Condor inspired Asian smoky glow look. So I've been really loving her look. I mean, you know, she's another fellow Asian sister. So it's like really awesome to see us on the big screen or even just on Netflix, you know? We coming through. <laughs> but her look has inspired me in so many ways. She has beautiful features, flirty, soft look. But when I've seen her on interviews and she has a full face glam, I was like, damn, she's really pretty. I have been into her looks lately because she's so pretty. I thought in this video I can incorporate a little Lana Condor with Asian smoky full glam here <laughs> for you guys to check out. She also has another video where she has these bright orange lips and her hair slicked back. So I think I want to try that next. And she does rock a pretty smoky eye or when she doesn't wear eyeshadows. For today's video, I'm going to do a matte smoky glam look, smoky eye, Asian glow, Lana Condor <laughs> inspired look. If you guys are interested on how I created this glam, then please keep on watching. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe if you guys haven't already. Like this video if you guys like it, or like it if you guys want more looks like this, or if you guys want to see that slicked backed hair look from her. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. going on guys good morning this is my bare face here uh yes my big pimple that's healing like so slow so annoying but it's finally healed out a lot better and in this video it just looks really like purple and red still but i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin with this drunk elephant moisturizer i love this because it's thick and creamy and it hydrates my face but it's not oily i'm going to moisturize my lips as well Get that nicely hydrated too and check out Magic Brows. Boom. Oh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. Anyways, don't mind my crazy hair. Starting off with eyeshadow without hitting myself in the face, which I normally do because I'm so clumsy. I'm going to take that nude color and just kind of pat it into my arch of the brows and slowly bring it down to the crease. Taking a transition shade and I'm just going to lightly diffuse this right in the crease area as I normally do. And this is more of like a cool tone color, which I really like because I'm going for a more matte look today. I don't want anything too warm in the crease. Take another cool color, which is like a dusty rose mauve color. I'm going to depthen my crease a slight bit. And this brush is a little bit more dense and fluffy at the same time. It's more tapered actually. <laughs> Oh, 
going in with that burgundy color and I'm gonna take that same dense brush that I use for my brows. I'm gonna slowly pack this onto my crease. As you see, I'm just packing it onto the crease where the lash line is. I'm not trying to get too high up in the crease. This is where the blending brush comes into play where I can blend it and softly diffuse it. But I'm not trying to make it super high. So I'm going to repeat the same step on the other eye. As you see, I'm blending until it's nicely soft. And I'm going to take a liner brush because I notice a slight gap between my lash line and my lid space, which is very thin, but it's not a problem. I'm just going to take that liner brush and just fill in that little patch and my blending brush to blend it out. I'm just going to add and pack on the color until the color is to my preference. I decided to mix the two burgundy colors and that brown so I can intensify my crease just a slight bit. So again, it's easier to add on the remove. So I'm just slowly packing the color until I am happy with the color payoff. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us So I recently have started using Grande Lashes, which is a serum for my little itty bitty lashes. I will talk more about it in my next video, but it's only been about a few weeks. I think the first week I was scared to apply it on because I was scared I was going to catch like a reaction to my skin or some sort of irritation. So I didn't really put too much for that week. But the second week I started slathering it on and I was like, I need this to grow. Come on vitamins. But in the meantime, I'm going to wear my falsies like I normally do. Three, two, one, voila. But it's not like I need Moving on to complexion. I'm going to use a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Oh, before I do that, let me go ahead and conceal my under eyes and that yucky spot on my nose using this concealer to color correct. Nice and softly. And get rid of all that redness. That was so disgusting. But anyways, going back to the foundation and primer, I'm going to use that Luminating Primer with the Luminous Silk. I think that's enough foundation there, girlfriend. <laughs> so I'm going to lightly just dab it around my whole face and just lightly blend everything out. I'm going for that glowy, dewy look today. Not too matte. <laughs> Going in with a highlighter concealer pen, I'm going to conceal a little bit more and highlight the highest points of my face and draw a little goatee. <laughs> uses a nice contouring product that gives her a nice sculpted cheekbone effect. She doesn't go overboard like I do, so I'm just going to try to use a light hand. I didn't really see too much blush on her, but she did use a good amount of highlighter, so that's what I'm going to use. And for more of that dewy look, I'm going to use a liquid highlighter. <laughs> This stuff is some liquid gold, well, liquid champagne, but it's so strong, it's so beautiful. It does give you that wet, dewy 
highlighted glow look which I'm trying to achieve and it's only like eight bucks at Sephora collection guys you guys must buy it it's so good so I'm just gonna finish off the look by mirroring my shadows on the lower lash line this can kind of enlarge your eyes a slight bit so it doesn't look too top heavy and I also noticed that she does do this when she's wearing that full face smoky look and everything we said we'd be we just traded for a super for the lips, I'm just going to use a soft, dusty rose color, keeping it matte on the neutral side to pair the eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you guys did. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming up. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye!